Hey everybody, it's Christy from Soul Positive. So today is the big reveal day. Kristen Peterson and I have um, been showing you sneak peeks of a collaboration that we've done all week. And now this is my final project. Uh, a little bit of background, Kristen and I sent each other envelopes filled with goodies and we each were to make a project out of the things that we sent each other. I decided to make a journal and what I actually ended up doing was making this an Ode to Mary Oliver journal. Um, inside I, well, you'll see. So let's start with the cover. Um, I don't know if you remember in my original video, I said how much I loved this envelope. I loved the sound of it. I loved how aged it was. So I cut it in half to use it on the cover with some with one of the watercolor flowers that Kristen sent me. And then I peeked underneath some more of her papers, right, with the picture and then some of the material that she sent. So that's the front cover. And then this is the back. And I actually, it's, um, I put it, I, I bound it with uh, needle and thread through here, but then I covered it with more papers. So you can't really see how the, how in the spine, how it's bound. I really did not add too much to this journal at all. The only thing that I added was the typewritten poems and quotes by Mary Oliver and a, just a teeny bit of paint or marks. Now even these marks here, if you can see, I'll pull it up a little bit. These marks were made from the bubble wrap from the envelope that Kristen sent to me. So. I wanted Kristen to have a little bit of my handwriting, so I, an ode to Mary Oliver with love, love Christy. And I loved this tag. I mean, I didn't feel like it needed to be changed whatsoever. I made that little paint chip into a pocket. The rest of the envelope is over here. I didn't want to throw any thing away. I didn't want to not use anything. And I'm happy to say successfully I used every single piece that Kristen sent me, including I, uh, the envelope, which I opened and used to make marks in here. This was just scrap from those watercolor flowers. They were three on a sheet and I ended up using them individually, so I used the scraps. As you can see, I just added a few little marks there. So throughout the entire book, there are poems that I typed on my typewriter by Mary Oliver, but also just pieces of poems and some quotations that I liked. This again was the negative space from cutting out one of those flowers and then I just added a flower. These flowers were so beautiful. The pink, really, I, I really, really loved that. Just so beautiful. I used a lot of the fabric as tabs. Here's the negative space from the heart that I cut out. More tabs. So a lot of the poems and quotes, I typed it right on pieces that Kristen had sent me. So there were pieces of envelopes left, there was negative space left from things that I cut out, and I just went ahead and I typed it directly on there. I loved so much the um, what she sent me from the little cookbook that I didn't feel like I wanted to alter it because I thought it was so great. And even here, I just, when I bound the book, I didn't even tie it up because I love when there's threads hanging down. So I, I just left that 
I think it gives this little book some character. I love the grunginess of Kristen's papers and I loved how it came out when I typed directly on there and both of my type I have two typewriters and this typewriter that I happen to use is a little bit wonky so um, it doesn't always type straight and it doesn't always type very clear but I think that gives it a little bit of character. This one I typed the entire poem. If you've ever um, read Mary Oliver at all, Softest of Mornings is probably one of my favorite poems that she has. Um, There's so many, I love so many poems of hers, but this was a, a great one. And I had, if you look over this way, um, I had used a word from here, you'll see later in the book. And I just wanted to use the back of this. I like how it folds up gives it a little a little surprise while you're thumbing through the same with here um, this was also a piece of the envelope that I typed the poem on and um, as you can see I spelt loneliness wrong and just the whole the whole that whole envelope was so beautiful and so aged and I felt like it had so much meaning and there it was it really that was my very favorite piece that Kristen sent me and I wanted to use every single bit of it. more papers. I left this open. I'm actually mailing this to Kristen as a gift and I wanted to leave some pages open for her to be able to add pieces that she would like to add. When I do collaborations with people, I think it's really special to have say a journal or a project you're working on where both of your art your different styles but pieces of you can go together in one journal or one project i love how special that is it's a really nice form of connection so i left some pages open for kristen to be able to add some things if she wanted to this was just a little piece of fabric that was left and I just ran it through my machine real quick um, and I actually really like the way that that looks. This one I typed on actual piece of um, scrap deli paper that was left. It came out better than I thought. I wasn't sure how it was going to come out once I put it into the book but I do love the way that it came out. I did add a little bit of washi tape here with an, a little envelope. This is probably um, one of the more popular quotes that Mary Oliver has written. Tell me, what is it you plan to do with your one wild and precious life? And I really wanted to capture that and make that something a little bit special. Here's the last flower of the trio of watercolor flowers. This was the tag. I just altered it a little bit. I This is the heart that I had cut out. And remember I showed you on the receipt um, the word. It was remedies. So I cut that out and I put it on there. I put more of the um, tissue paper that Kristen sent to me. I, I put that on the back for a little bit of a smooth back. And here is, there was another envelope in the package and I just made this a pocket in the back. So there you have it. This is my finished project from my collaboration with Kristen Peterson of Altered States Studio on Instagram. This was such a fun collaboration. I really recommend that if you guys um, know someone, do a collaboration with them. Even if you don't know them, reach out to them, ask them if they would be interested. It's just such a fun way to connect with um, other creatives. I appreciate you guys following along this week. Thank you so much and we'll see you next time.